What's up YouTube, it's Bond from AndroidAll.com and as you may have already heard, the developer preview of Windows 10 is out right now and anyone can try it on their PC. So uh, the process of installing it is pretty simple but uh, some people may not want to install uh, a preview or developer preview on their main computer. So uh, and they might not also want to lose their current files. So uh, there's a quick and easy way you can try the developer preview. Uh, it's completely safe and that is to use something like a virtual machine so we, um, even though the process of uh, using a virtual machine is pretty simple some people are not clearly aware of that so I thought why not make a quick tutorial on how to install the developer preview of Windows 10 onto a virtual machine so uh, in this video I'll be showing you guys just that so uh, let's get started Alright guys, so before we begin, first you need to make sure that you have the files downloaded onto your PC. So you can visit bit.ly slash Windows 10 to download the files. Or you can visit androdollar.com and uh, visit the page where I have uh, given the download files. So you can visit, uh, you can scroll down and go to the download section and uh, download the file from there. So uh, once you have the download file, uh, then you need to make sure you have either VMware Workstation or VirtualBox installed on your PC. I'll be using VMware Workstation because that's what I prefer but if you prefer uh, VirtualBox you can uh, use that as well. So um, now to begin this, first you need to press file, press uh, new virtual machine, press next now you need to select the ISO file so go and select the file that you have downloaded so I'll be using the 32 bit file even though I have the 64 bit as well so you can use the uh, operating system version as Windows 8 because Windows 10 is not listed there so for the virtual machine file name I'll use Windows 10 and I'll just leave these default but I'll change the RAM to maybe 2 gigs and finally finish and all right that's pretty much it so now you need to power on the virtual machine so you press this button and you wait so you need to have a lot of patience here because uh, this is trying to run vo uh, virtually so all right so okay so let me pull, put this on full screen mode alright now we are in full screen mode so uh, you need to give it some time so I'll be back once this is loaded alright guys we are up here so um, now you need to select your language and press next and press install now alright uh, so give it a few more seconds now Alright guys, so we are up here, so press I accept and press next and then select custom and you select this unallocated space, press new and just hit apply. Okay, and then give it a few seconds and then you need to press next. Okay, select the bigger portion and select next. Alright, now the windows will be installed onto your virtual machine this will take somewhere around uh, 10 to 15 minutes so i'll be back once this is done
Alright guys, so we are now running the technical preview, the developer preview of Windows 10. So uh, we have all the great functions. This is the brand new start menu. So uh, we can even resize it. And uh, we have the task view button where you can add virtual desktops and uh, we have all the good stuff so you can play with it and you can get it up and running so next we need to install the VMware tools in order to get the full screen mode so you need to go to the VM tab and select the VMware tools so uh, then it will start uh, loading so uh, once it's done loading you will get a pop up where you can open the setup and uh, you can install it you hit install and give it a few seconds and uh, open from the pop-up uh, and uh, once you open it you can just install it like a normal program so right here you select the VMware tools and uh, then select one setup PXE and then uh, you see, give it admin rights press yes and uh, then the vm tools will start loading so now you just need to install this like a normal application so i will fast forward this process all right so we are done here now you need to restart your machine so once you restart it you will be greeted into the full screen mode so uh, uh, let's take a look at uh, the computer after the reboot Alright guys, so as you see we are now finally booted into Windows 10 in full screen mode. So you can just use it like you normally would and um, there is uh, a simple lag here that is simply because we are running the machine virtually but uh, I think for a lot of you, uh, you just want to just uh, play around with the features of Windows like if you want to genuinely use the um, Windows 10 developer preview you better install it onto a proper computer hard disk or SSD but if you just want to just play around with the features and just see uh, what it has to offer this I think is the best method to follow so uh, you can uh, easily install it and and, uh, play around with all the features and it is enabled in full screen mode so no one will be able to say that it's fake so uh, anyways guys uh, you press this button to go out of full screen mode and you can use the control and odd button to um, get the cursor out of the screen so uh, that's it you can also suspend the machine or you can power off from here or you can power off from the virtual machine itself either way you want so uh, let me quickly suspend it so that i can run it quickly the next time that's pretty much it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button down below and don't forget to share this video with your friends so they will also find it useful and uh, stay tuned to android.com for all the latest in the tech world and i will talk to you guys in the next one take care